I'm so thankful myself personally for the ability to have effective faith that the Lord has given us. We understand that it is faith in the Lord Jesus. The good part about it is it's a faith that grows under pressure. Some things crush or crumble under pressure, but the faith that we have when we're under pressure, it grows. It's not faith that lasts for a little while, but it, it endures. And while it enables us to endure, it gives us hope. That's because it's potent, it's really strong, and it's, it's powerful. And it, the, the, the faith is, is certain, it's for sure. The thing that we are believing God for, when our faith is effective, um, the thing that we're believing him for is certain. Um, with it, nothing that we need is impossible. It's the hand that takes hold of the faithful promises of God with a strong, unfailing grip. Faith is essential in the life of the believer. Faith properly exercised will produce a result that God wants. It will give us the best outcome. When we exercise faith in God, we don't have to worry about how it's going to come out. We go through changes because we have specifications and it is our desire that things come a certain way. But when we have faith in God, when he directs us and he guides us, he will do it in the best way. Even though it's not like we might thought originally it should be, he'll do it the best way. You see, you have to see the work of the hand of the Lord in your life. And that's, and that's a problem that a lot of believers have. A lot of us go through that at times because the enemy, when he comes, that is why you cannot entertain him. You cannot entertain him. You cannot get into discussion with him. You cannot let him occupy any of the frames of your memory, of your mind. You cannot let him do that because he will cause you to focus upon all of the bad stuff in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't, stop counting yourself out. Stop telling yourself that, that you're done. Stop telling yourself that your situation is bad and it's not going to get better. We tell ourselves this kind of stuff when we look at it and times get rough. You've got to learn to see Jesus in it. You know, faith, faith is something that God longs for. He yearns for us to have faith. The stuff that you want and the things you're striving to accomplish, understand me, God wants you to be blessed. He wants you to get out of that situation. He wants you to receive that blessing. Yeah, let me take it further. Yes, he wants you to have that home you want. He wants you to have that husband. He wants you to have that wife. He wants you to have that family. But once we have faith, faith reaches him. Faith moves him. When he sees a child of God that's going through and it's difficult or that's waiting on him for something. But this child of God has faith in him and is trusting him it's like it's like what we would say here in the earth that's what i'm talking about we must press over the negativity negativity says you will not make it to jesus even if you go in your prayer room negativity will say you are not going to connect with him negativity will say you are not going to get what you're asking for you have to press over doubt that's telling you the Lord won't do it for you. You have to press over discouragement which says there's no sense in asking this anymore. You got to press over fear which says the problem or the situation is going to permanently destroy you. You got to press over past failures which, which tell you this is going to be another failure. Press. I don't care how many times you fail, get up and go again. Somebody say hallelujah. 
That's why God said as I close out, that's why God said my word shall not return unto me void, but it's going to prosper in the thing that I sent it to achieve. So when I speak it, it's already done. When I speak it, you can dance on it. When I speak it, you can testify before you even see it. You can walk around telling everybody it's mine. What I don't see it is mine. Well, how do you know it's yours? Because God said it and God's word will not return unto him void. Somebody shout hallelujah in this place. The Lord say, my hand is not shortened that I cannot save you. I don't care what trouble you in. I don't care how messed up you are. I don't care what the situation is. is, is I can reach into your situation and I can fix it. Are you with me? Somebody say hallelujah. He say my eyes, my eyes are upon you and my ears are open to your cry. Whatever you're dealing with, don't think I'm not hearing you. I'm letting you go through some things and I'm letting you deal with some things but I got you covered. You operate with miracle producing faith. You got faith that can change things around and the church need to get reacquainted with the fact that you can still by faith pray and lay hands on the sick and they recover. You can still pray and things change but there is still such a thing as miracle working faith. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Didn't we see Jesus cast the demon out of the maniac at Gadara? He did not want to come out but when Jesus came they knew they had to get out. God shared with me. God say I see what you're talking about and I see where you are and I see what you're going through and it's important for you to understand that some of the stuff that you're going through I allowed it to come and I'm not going to move it though you pray I'm not going to move it because folks I'm taking you to a level that you've never been to before and this is something even at this level yeah I know you thought that you were acquainted with all of the levels but there are levels that you've not gone to and God is saying the same thing to some of you he said I know that you thought that you had it going on and that you thought you had things covered he said but I just let a little wind blow in your direction to let you see that no matter how high you are that I'm still a God who's greater than that he said what you don't know you could have been cut off a long time ago you could have been wiped out a long time ago. Stop thinking that your faith is not working because I don't move when you want me to move. I am not going to move when you want me to move. But I'm going to move when the time is right. He told me to tell you, child of God, hang on to what you got. Don't let go. If you only see a little bit to hold on to, hold on to the little bit and say God this is all I got but with what I got I'm gonna give you a praise